had shaved before? No. I've been a volunteer, but I've, I've never been. Yeah, I'm sorry. Are you doing it? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, and then I have a very young brother, and then that's our sister. So it's kind of a family thing? Yeah, and that's our dad. Okay. So there's a reason, no doubt, that uh, you're doing this as a family? Well, yeah. She, uh, has Hodgkin's lymphoma, so okay. we are doing it for her. She did it two years, I think. Is that your sister? Uh, yeah. The one with the mask? Yep. Okay. With DFY on it? Yep. Okay, Rachel. Yep. All right. And, and you live in the Cleveland area? Yep. All right. We got a group up here getting ready to go that is actually kind of uh, personal for me. Uh, this is uh, some of our family, but they, some of our friends of our family that have come out to join us uh, today. Many of you know that I've been doing this for uh, nine years now. This is my ninth year. This is I was here the first year we did it at Rainbow, and I'm still here today. Uh, it's always been a very important event for me. Um, it's, it's been an important event for my daughter, too, who has shaved twice before um, in the past. Uh, but this year, this year <laughs> so this year um, in January, we found out that Rachel uh, was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And, uh, which is kind of an interesting story, I guess. You know, we spent a lot of time at this event doing uh, volunteering and being a part of this. And then to find ourselves in a situation where, you know, you hear that your own daughter now has cancer. Um, but I do take, we do take comfort in the fact that uh, we have spent so many years here learning what St. Baldrick's does. We've seen all the research. And so knowing that this event and this research has been in existence even before we got involved, gives us hope because we know that there are treatments that can help uh, that wouldn't be existent if not for that research. So we keep doing this uh, because we want to be a part of giving hope to other kids. There are a lot of families who will face, face a diagnosis that don't have the prognosis that we're facing. So um, I love this kid a lot and I'm really proud of her. Um, and she's, she's going through uh, a lot. Uh, right now, um, and I'm sorry. Um, I just really, uh, I knew that it was going to be a little harder this year because, like I said, I love this event. It's my favorite time of the year, but this year it's personal, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to do this together. So my son, my oldest son, is here shaving. Uh, one, of, uh, a couple of Rachel's friends are here shaving. Um, my daughter, my other daughter, uh, Libby, is shaving, and my other son, uh, Aaron, is shaving. Uh, all uh, for, uh, for Rachel, it's all for you. So, uh, so Rachel's actually going to do the honors. She is going to shave us, uh, get everybody started here and do some head shaving. You ready to do some clipping? You want to say anything or are you good? No, I'm good. Okay. All right, let's do some shaving. Let's get it done. Look at that beautiful ginger hair going on. 